Hey Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of December 2021. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of your situations. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like. Or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. All right, Pisces, what's going on with you for December? Let's see. Overall energy, we have big dreams. All right, okay. We had this for Cancer, actually. I think it was Cancer. Yeah, pretty sure it was Cancer. Um, so yeah, someone is having some big dreams here about where this connection could possibly go, what can happen about the future. Let's get into this and see. Pisces, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First couple of weeks of December, what is going on here? You and another person. And do keep in mind, the roles can definitely be reversed. Okay, so for the situation, we have the world crossed by the hermit. Okay, so right off the bat, we do have Virgo energy showing up. Um... There's some kind of a completion or some kind of a cycle that is trying to close out. And I feel like... I feel like what's happening here is that this person is actually like really just kind of keeping to themselves, being quiet, going within, possibly because there is some cycle that is closing out. Okay, could be you, could be them. We'll see. For the recent past, we have the Page of Cups, and for the recent, the, the recent future, <laughs> for the near future, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so recently there may have either been some communication between the two of you if there's not much communication currently. So there may have been something, something really small, like some kind of a hint or, I don't know, just, it could be anything. It could be anything really, or this is just somebody really opening up to their emotions, all right, recently. For the near future with the two of wands um we'll see it could be a, some contemplating here a little bit of contemplating trying to figure out which way to go or thinking about the next step to take for your energy we have the wheel of fortune for them we have the knight of swords for you we also have the three of swords for them the chariot and potential outcome here we have the knight of cups okay so more cancer energy showing up definitely let me know if any of you are dealing with the cancer or if you or they have strong cancer in their charts um because it's well it's not showing up for a second time it's only showing up once but because we also had this um, card for cancer so all right for you there's definitely a major shift that is happening here something is changing Something is changing and I do feel like it's in a positive direction, although it is also creating some pain for you, all right? We'll see what that is. Um, for them, with the Knight of Swords and the Chariot, I feel like there's actually a lot of, there's movement here. There's movement, I'm not, and it feels like fast movement, but it also feels like, I don't know if it really has a direction, it's just like really quick movement. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna have to wait and see. But for the potential outcome, we do have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like that's actually this Page of Cups, like progressing to the Knight of Cups. So whoever it is that's opening up emotionally is actually taking those emotions and putting them more into, into practice. So let's clarify and see what's going on here. So let's see the world with the Hermit. Alright, we have the Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, whatever, whoever is closing out this, this cycle, this chapter of their lives, it is coming in with a lot of pain. I actually feel like it's you. Um, yeah, Sylvia's trying to get on the desk. There she is. She hasn't made an appearance on here in a while, has she? Okay. You can stay, but you have to kind of 
not step on the cards. How does that sound as a deal? Okay. Don't burn your whiskers. All right, so I was saying, yeah, I feel like this could be you who is trying to close out this cycle, but of course roles can be reversed. Um, and I feel like it is happening, all right, with this Ace of Swords. It's happening, but it's creating a lot of stress and it's coming in with a sense of loss. I'm not so sure that it has to do with the other person, although it definitely could. It could be something else in your life, um, a, another situation, or it could be trying to close out the situation with this person. Whatever the case, though, I feel like, you know, there might be a little bit of avoiding when it comes to, like, maybe avoiding just what it is that you you have learned from this. And I feel like that is what makes it more painful. And I feel like this is all about you really focusing on, okay, you know, th this was in my life for a reason. What What is that reason? What have I learned? Because I feel like you have come a long way. And it's all about going deep, doing some soul searching to, to really get the bigger picture of this. And that might help to relieve some of this, this pain that is showing up here. So let's see for your energy. Let's see that Wheel of Fortune. All right, and we have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. Okay, yeah, see, so things are changing for the better. I feel like the wheel is turning <clears throat> and moving you towards this Ten of Cups. The more that you are actually leaving something behind and resolving that conflict. So this is about resolving that conflict within you, right, which is this Nine of Swords, that stress, which is, it's okay to feel that, right? Whenever there is some kind of an ending or a completion of something, even if it's something that was successful, like for, I mean, because this could be just about anything, all right? It could be a relationship, a connection with another person, but it could even be something like a career, right? And so let's just give the example, if it's a career that was successful, but, you know, it's coming to an end, even though it was successful, like it can still come with pain, all right, and the same thing goes with certain relationships, um, even with even with marriages, you know. I mean, if a marriage comes to an end, it doesn't necessarily mean that it failed. It, it served its purpose. It completed its cycle. And if you had soul growth and you learned from that, well, then there was a success in that, right? If you learned what you were meant to learn. And so I feel like whatever that is, you know, that is the whole issue here is to you know find that lesson within this completion and that's leading you to that ten of cups to ultimate happiness and fulfillment and possibly also love which could be with this other person that we're seeing here let's see the three of swords All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. It could be that, okay, if you're dealing with another person, it could, for some of you might be an air sign, doesn't have to be, um, but it, it could even be that you are, this is all about you um, having cut out another person and It's like the more that you focus on the actual break of it, like the more painful it can be. And then for others of you, what I'm getting here is that it's like you're, you're approaching this pain or you're coming at this pain that you're feeling from like a very practical point of view, like you're trying to find the reason or the logic behind it. And it's like, so you're really like focused on finding the logic of why this happened the way it did and what, but, and I get that. And that's pretty, it does sound like what I was saying, you know, to find the, um, the lesson in it. But I feel like you can't really find the lesson in it if you're trying to like rationalize the whole thing. That's not how it's going to come to you. That's not how it's going to, to heal. Like, it's almost like... Let me get one more here, actually. It's almost like you're being too harsh with it, rather than just allowing it to be. 
Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're thinking of it along the lines of almost like looking at the consequences. But in a way where it's actually creating more pain. Like, it, it may have left you feeling like, okay, well, now what? Like, now I am on my own. I don't know, Pisces. Feels kind of weird. Um, we'll see. It might This might clear up a little bit. Let's see what's going on with the other person here. Let's see this Knight of Swords. We have the Page of Cups and Strength. Okay, so we also have Leo energy showing up. Yeah, see, because we have the Page of Cups in the recent past as well. So I feel like this person um, is really opening up to their emotions. Like, they know exactly how they feel, right? And I feel like there is some action here, or there's a lot of drive. There's a lot of... It could even come... <laughs> This could even be impatience, like this person feeling a little bit impatient for something here with you, especially when it comes to possibly communication from the heart. And it feels like, you know, they've, they've had to endure. They've endured a lot here. It's actually feeling like holding back. That's why we have strength here. It's like trying to self-discipline their own emotions or, you know, their drive, this energy or this impatience to communicate with you and they're holding back. I don't know if it's deliberate, <clears throat> like if they know, if they're aware of you um, closing out this cycle and that, you know, it's putting you in this stress and maybe that's why they're not communicating and holding back. Or if they're just, you know, if it's just working on an energetic level. the chariot. Alright, the nine of wands, the queen of wands, and the seven of swords. Yeah, they're holding back. They're holding back. Um, this is somebody who definitely has a lot of passion for you or sees you as being, you know, very desirable, very attractive, like they definitely want this, but they're feeling like there's some kind of a resistance possibly from your end, so there might be something in what, you know, you are doing or the energy that you are in, which is, it's like it's serving as this block here. And so even though that drive is there, right, we're seeing it twice with the Knight of Swords and the Chariot, we're also seeing them holding back in some way twice, right, with the Strength, actually three times, Nine of Wands, as well as the Seven of Swords, not acting on it. So, yeah, even though it did initially come in as action, it's actually action that they would want to take or, you know, some impatience, like they would want things to kind of move along, but it's like they're restraining them themselves, holding themselves back. I feel like this person is trying to be patient. Um, and it could even be for other reasons as well, right? Something else that's going on with them. It's, I feel like this, this reading just wanted to focus more on you. But a part of it could definitely be your um, the energy that you are in right now. And I feel like there's something here with this pain, which it's going to be different for all of you, but it's something about the way that you are... It's almost like you're attacking it, trying to... Yeah, trying to get yourself to be independent, to be detached from that pain. But it's like, you know... you. You have to allow yourself to feel it in order to also see what the lesson is. It's like you can't just wish it away. But again, I feel like once you're able to see the bigger picture, it will be relieving for you. And I actually feel like, yeah, with that big dreams, I feel like there's something here. There's something here that you really want. And that door is actually opening up for you 
you know, the closer you get to closing out that cycle. Let's see the two of wands in the near future. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords. So there's definitely a door that is opening here, right, when it comes to love. And I feel like that could be what that big dreams is. Something that you have always wanted that maybe you, you pushed aside, you kind of, you know, brushed it under the rug or just saw it as always, you know, that's just going to be something um, hypothetical. Yeah, you know, I feel like that actually is possible here. All right, and I see you taking beginning to take those first steps. I do I do feel like it's thinking this could even represent, um, you know, someone else, right? This Queen of Cups. Kind of waiting. Waiting, being interested here, you know, kind of keeping their eye on you, waiting to see, you know, like, are you going to make a move or are you not? <laughs> and again, I do feel like for a lot of you, the roles will be reversed here. Um, Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's see the Knight of Cups for the potential outcome. All right, we have the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. All right. All right, it is progressing, but I feel like there are still some challenges. I feel like this is actually just a message for you, you know, to just not overanalyze it. Don't try to rationalize it so much in order to detach yourself from the pain, because I feel like that's really what this is all about. It's overanalyzing it to the point where you actually do miss the bigger picture. And it keeps you from being able to go within and see, you know, what that what that lesson is or, you know, what the purpose of this was. And so, yeah, you know, there is that movement forward here with that Knight of Cups, like moving more towards your big dreams. This is just a little like precaution or encouragement from spirit saying, OK, but, you know, just make sure that you don't stay too long, like in this crazy headspace over analyzing because that just leads you to more conflict and not really knowing how to how to handle it. But it does look pretty good after that. Alright, Pisces. This resonated. Let's see. Yeah, and we have narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Yeah, thoughtfully as in don't overthink, all right? Don't overthink, like, you know, be careful because you can easily go back into this overanalyzing, which I feel like you're doing down here, all right? Which then just creates more of that nine of swords, all right? You, it's like that big dream that you have, it's there. It's there. It's like waiting. So, yeah, those are the messages that I have for you, Pisces. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.